Corrections Corporation of America, CCA. Uh, basically, that's a, a private uh, corporation that's going to take over the prison systems. So in other words, you're not going to have any federal um, employees as correction officers working in the prison system. You're not going to have a federal uh, appointed uh, a warrant, uh, um, uh, what's, what's his name, warden, warden. You're not going to have any of that. Now I have a video of an actual prison that's being ran by the uh, uh, CCA, the uh, corporate or CCOA, uh, Corp, uh, Corrections Corporation of America. Now in this scene, this one guy is a prison a prisoner, getting fighting, not fighting, but beating up another guy that's in the prison, and nobody comes to help this 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 one guy getting his ass whooped. You know, he's getting stomped into the ground. And then there was a point where the guy, the Edomite, he actually sat down and took a rest, got up and started beating the guy some more. And now the guy's brain damaged. And then the so-called officers of uh, uh, CC of A, they just strolled in. Like, what's going on? Now, they're, they're, they'll take the uh, country's, uh, they'll take the contract as long as the uh, government guarantees that the uh, prisons, all the prisons, are 90 plus percent occupied. So what do you think they're going to do? Snatch people up. And all they got to do is snatch your ass up. They ain't find nothing on you. You're clean. You have a clean license. You have no gun on you. You have no drugs on you. No record whatsoever. You might be going to college class, but somehow, oh, wait a minute, you suspect, we suspect you of terrorism. You're going to find out, you bird brain, stupid ass Negroes, that Barack, Barack Hussein Obama is the, he's going to wind up being the worst, wind up being the worst president ever, especially among you simple ass niggas, because you don't check out anything. All right, so now let's go to the clip, brother. Video from a prison in Idaho shows one inmate attacking another. The beating continuing, even with a break, before guards intervene. Hours after the Associated Press broadcast this video, the top federal prosecutor in Idaho told the AP that the FBI is launching a civil rights investigation of the staff at the prison, looking into allegations of criminal conduct there. The investigation covers multiple assaults between inmates, including the attack on 24-year-old Hani Alavid. The Idaho Correctional Center is privately run, operated by Corrections Corporation of America. Lawsuits from inmates say the company pits prisoners against each other, covering up assaults, creating what is dubbed a gladiator school. I'm imagining him reaching for this door while this guard is on the other side and never once trying to help him. Elavid was stomped on at least a dozen times, minutes passing after the attack ended and guards entered the cell block. Corrections Corporation of America said it was disappointed in AP's decision to release the video, saying this posed a security risk. The AP obtained the footage and verified its authenticity with a person familiar with the case. Hani Alabad was in the prison for robbery, but now he suffers from brain damage and short-term memory loss. He was ultimately released, too injured to be cared for in prison. Lee Powell, The Associated Press. Okay, so that's that's the only clip. That's the only clip we're gonna show. But I mean, you can get an idea of uh, what's gonna happen if uh, this, uh, you know, the the uh, corporation, uh, uh, um, corrections corporation of America, take over the prison system. They go. They there's gonna if they don't if everybody starts keeping the law, doing the right thing, they're gonna just start grabbing people off the street. Like I said, if they don't find anything on you, they're going to pin something on you. And a lot, you got a lot of people in the prison system that, that have charges on them because they, they couldn't find nothing, so they just pin charges on them, man. Then they offer them a plea. Look, if you do a year, you know, I mean, if you, if you blow trial, you'll do seven, seven plus years. But if you do, if you uh, plead to, you know, 
you know, plead to lesser charges, we'll give you a year in prison. Because that's justifying slavery. See? Because it says in the Constitution, it said, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist in the, in the U.S. except as a punishment for, for crime. So, is there slavery in America? Yes, there's every, anytime there's somebody locked up in the prison system, you, you put in slavery. So, I mean, that's just another thing you have to look, to look forward to. Okay? You got anything? Go ahead. Hold on, Mike. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter uh, 8, verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. And that's the times we're coming to. Many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter time that shall dwell in the, in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. So basically this is the most high using Esau to, um, to jack you people up. You know with these different prisons, these different legislation that they pass and to justify them just either locking you up, uh, cutting your head off, um, um, torturing you. It says uh, uh, verse uh, 56. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous, and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, that, that known they must die. For as the thing aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. Okay, so now let's go from there to uh, Revelation. And then another thing, you know this this supposedly on um March 23 I believe of this year 2013 it's mandatory when you go to the uh what's the name of this thing in the uh, medical bill the bill itself the Obamacare bill or the health care bill we call it the Obama Obama Obamacare bill and um it's hidden I believe it's page 1000 um four or six all right we hadn't gone through this in a while but we did a show on it back in i believe 2011 or the end of 2010 when it was when it was going back and forth in uh congress right and basically it was passed it went to the supreme court just recently i believe it was the beginning of uh 2012 and it was justice roberts which was the chief justice which still is which, by the way, um, uh, the vice president, uh, Joe Biden, when this guy was uh, being considered to be the chief justice, he he told him, and it was on CNN, and we showed a clip every once in a while. you probably see the clip again that he said, before the end of your tenure, you're going to rule on whether a microchip chip can be placed in a human body. He said, mark my words, you will rule on that. All right? And then he said a couple other things, but that's the main point that I'm speaking on. So um, you're going to have people that's not going to accept the chip, so they're going to put you in prison. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. 